Hey y'all, I gotta do my intro real, real quick because I am running late, but hey y'all, if y'all read the caption, y'all already know what we're doing today. Um, I'm at my hair appointment, so I'm about to go upstairs um, to the building. Like I said, I am running late. I'm a hot mess, but at least I look cute. And I'm excited to get my hair done. This is a new stylist. I'm going to be modeling for her. But yeah, y'all, let me go run in and I'm going to talk to y'all once I get in there. Bye. I just got here. I just got in her chair and we don't know what style we about to do. <laughs> we don't know what style we about to do, but we um we figure it out. Don't worry. Right, it's gonna be cute regardless, anyway. So right, the girls gonna love it, they're gonna eat, you know. Either way. But y'all, I'm gonna set y'all up. Um I don't feel like holding the phone today, I'm tired, but I'm gonna set y'all up and yeah, I'll talk to y'all once we're done. Alright y'all, so as y'all can see in the video, we're doing a no part, side part again, only because I had like two holes in my wig. She finessed it, so you probably can't even, yeah, you can't even see it. But I had two holes in my wig, so we couldn't do the styles that we originally wanted to do, which is fine because it still looks cute. It still looks really good. She really did her big one. Period. But... We're gonna go ahead and dry the hair and make it real big, make it real poofy. Y'all know how I like it. And I'm gonna talk to y'all once I get in the car. Yeah. Actually, I lied. I'm gonna talk to y'all once we're done. And then, yeah. Period. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So, this is the finished result. It looks great. I freaking love it. It looks amazing. Like I said, she finessed because. Look. <laughs> I was gonna install this wig myself, y'all, and let's just say with all them complications, we got it done. We got it done. She did it. <laughs> I couldn't have did it, but she did it. But yeah, y'all. So I'm about to head to the car, and I'm gonna talk to y'all once I get in there. Yeah. All right, y'all. So now I'm back in the car, as y'all can see, and this is my hair. Oh my god, it looks so freaking good. Like it looks so good. Oh, I'm gonna just uh, chill out, but. Y'all, I look so good. And I know y'all probably like, girl, how many times are you going to keep getting this freaking hairstyle until it stops eating? Because every time I get it, it eats. Every freaking time, I, every time I get this hairstyle, it eats. And y'all, please go and book with your girl. Um, A lot of people was canceling on her today. Um, She also got a no call, no show. And let me touch on that because I actually want to touch on that. What the hell be going through y'all head that y'all feel like y'all can't say y'all not coming? These hairstylists, these nail techs, these, um, what else I get done? Lash checks, all that. It, like, they are not going to hunt you down and they're not going to kill you if you call them and say, hey, I'm not going to be able to go. Like, what be going through y'all head that y'all just say, I'm not going to say nothing at all? Like, why do y'all do that? Why do y'all do that? Like, I, I, I just, it, I don't get it. I'm just convinced that people do stuff like this for the love of it. Like, they just want to. Like, they don't care. Like, they just trying to F up somebody's day. They don't care. 
But anyways, y'all, um, my intro was super duper short. So now I'm really gonna actually tell y'all what we're doing today. So as y'all can see, hair is already done. I wanted to record me going on like my little mini grocery shopping um thing on my little mini grocery shopping run, um, running little errands and stuff, but I'm actually going to go and grab myself something to eat because y'all know I have to incorporate food in every single video. Like, I'm just trying to incorporate food in every single video. I just want to, like, show y'all different eats in Atlanta. Since this, like, Atlanta is still new to me, I've been living here for a year, I still have not really gotten out and tried everything. Like, Atlanta has a lot a lot a lot of eats a lot of eats so i want to just go turn place to place to place to place to place and try new stuff because i love food y'all like i'm i love food i'm freaking addicted to food and i just feel like i want to try a whole bunch of new places and show y'all and influence y'all to go try them duh that's my job that's what i'm supposed to do today i think i'm gonna go um to hattie b's i've had hattie b's before so Hattie B's isn't new to me at all, but it is new to y'all. I have not tried Hattie B's on camera yet. Um, and I've only had Hattie B's like once or twice. I haven't had Hattie B's a lot of times. I really haven't. It, and it's honestly been, dang. It's been a long time since I've had it too. I would say I've been living here a year and I've had it six months ago. So I've quite literally only had it twice. So I'm gonna go back to Hattie B's, try Hattie B's. I'm probably gonna get something different this time. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna get, but I definitely am gonna try something different. And then I was gonna go to Walmart, but no. I don't like the fact that Walmart doesn't have um, tap. Like I have to use Walmart pay. And even though I have Walmart pay, I'm pissed off that I had to use it because I feel like I shouldn't have to use it. So the fact that I had to use it pisses me off even more. So now I don't even want to go get my groceries there simply because of the fact like I'm pissed off. Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't make any sense to me. Why do I specifically have to download y'all app to pay? Like, why do I have to do that? It doesn't make any type of sense. I shouldn't have to download an app. I shouldn't have to download an app. I shouldn't have to download an app. No other place does that but Walmart. And like, I'm coming at you because now I'm pissed off. Why do I have to do that? Why? Why can't I just like use Apple Pay? Like everybody else got Apple Pay. Target got Apple Pay. Isn't that y'all competition? Isn't Target y'all competition? I guess they're not really competition because Walmart prices are forever going to be better. And the thing is, it's like you, you pay. It's funny because it's like when you really think about it, I think about how trashy um walmart is but it's like that's what you're paying for like if you want cheap stuff i guess you're not gonna get high quality ambiance or is it ambiance it's one of those ambiance ambiance but i like if you pay like less i guess the place can't be as nice even though to me that's just sucky like why are you punishing me because i want to um <clears throat> buy affordable things it don't make any sense but yeah y'all so Anyways, enough of that. I'm currently at the gas station. Um, I'm about to get myself some gas. I swear, like, every time, every single time, I'm like, I want to save. It just seems like money just keeps rolling out of my pockets. Because I just feel like I just paid for gas. And now... I'm paying for gas again. And I really didn't just pay for gas. Like, the last time I paid for gas was a week ago, but it feels like I just paid for gas. I'm going to go ahead and pump this gas real quick. And, uh, yeah. So, y'all, it's making me go in and pay at the register. I really did not want to go in. This is the reason why I went to Quick Trip, so I didn't have to go in because they have an Apple Bay. I'm addicted to Apple Bay because... <laughs> I don't be I don't be bringing my wallet like I do but I don't like and it's funny because I did bring my wallet today and forgot my card so it didn't even matter so why is this so confusing hold on oh let's talk about some why is this so confusing I'm just turning the wrong way hi 
All right, y'all, so now I'm on my way to Hattie B's. I'm actually in somewhat of a rush, but not really in a rush to Hattie B's because I have one of my content friends, Vaughn. He was actually in the last video. Y'all know Vaughn. I'm over here talking about Vaughn like y'all never seen Vaughn. Vaughn was actually in my last video, in my tattoo video. Um, so we actually came down here all the way from Maryland to come to my school's homecoming. So he's currently on campus right now and I did not know he was on campus at the moment because I had texted him and I was like, what's going on? Because I knew we were supposed to do um, a content Airbnb tonight, but Airbnb sucks and basically wasn't trying to let them keep their reservation because they knew it was going to be some type of like party, but it's not really technically a party. Like we're all just kind of like coming together, shooting content, but we're not partying. But anyways, whatever, that's that. But we're honestly trying to find another thing to do tonight. So whatever the heck we do, I'm going to put it on camera. I'm going to film for y'all for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. But whatever we do, we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. I have a long Saturday for real. like. But yeah, y'all, so I'm on my way to Hattie B's. I'm actually going to sit down, sit in there and eat. I'm not taking my food to go, like... Yes, I have to go back and meet him, but he told me he was like, it's okay because they're at some type of, they're at the hill, and that's some type of restaurant at my school, and they said it's a bar, it's me, it's not a bar, but I guess they have a bar upstairs, I don't know, I never went upstairs, but they're sitting out eating up at my school, so they told me to go, like, go ahead and take my time, chill out, and sit and eat, which I was going to do anyway, um, Honestly, I was like, do y'all just want me to pop up there and see y'all first before I go eat? Because I'm sitting down. And they were like, oh, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Which honestly makes me feel a little bit better because I'm in a rush, but I'm not technically in a rush because he told me I could take my time. Whatever. But yeah, y'all, but I'm going to see them. I'm going there. We having a good time. I don't know what I'm doing, but we doing it. I don't know. I don't know. But y'all... Let me focus on the GPS because I'm not going to lie. I've been to Haiti Bees before, but I don't know where I'm going from where I'm at. So let me focus on the GPS so I don't get lost and I'm not wasting more time. And I'm going to talk to y'all once I get there. Uh, why did it just take me 15 minutes to put this freaking thing together? I could not figure it out. Like, I couldn't figure it out, but let me get up out of here. <laughs> All right, y'all. So now I'm at Haiti Bees. Yes, um, currently I'm standing in line. The line is pretty, pretty long, um, but there's only one person ahead of me. Actually, I think I could fit in. I'm probably the person. Huh? Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. I'm 20. All right. All right. Oh, y'all, he was, uh, he was cute. All right, y'all, but. Let me go ahead um, and talk to y'all once I get inside because there's a lot going on out here and I feel like there's a lot of eyes on me right now while I'm recording. So, yeah. All right, y'all, so I just made it in here. It's hot as hell, it's super hot. Like, oh my God, I feel like I'm dying. Like, I feel like I'm sweating as I'm standing right here, but right now, um, like I said, I'm inside and I'm one person is I'm so nervous. Hi, how you doing? Um, can I get a classic chicken sandwich meal? Can I get it um with mild heat? And then can I get that with fries? Can I get honey mustard? And a side of the uh, sauce that y'all have? The house sauce? Yeah, the house sauce. And what comes on the sandwich? <laughs> Can I just get the house sauce? No coleslaw and pickles. No ma'am. Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. Me too. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get your info. And bring it Yes. Bring it. You want to drink? Do I want to drink? Yeah. Can I get a lemonade? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Alright. Um, Y'all not hot in here? Good lord. They keep asking me and I'm like, 
Like, no, Maybe it's me. <laughs> I'm a unit. Alright, y'all. So, I just got my food. He actually just dropped it off to me. Ooh, hold on. Ooh. It looks so freaking good. Like, it just looks so good. Like, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This looks so freaking good. Like, I'm so excited to eat my Hattie B's. And, I don't know. I'm just so excited. Like, I haven't eaten Hattie B's in so long. But, y'all, that boy in there was like, he's a little cute. Y'all do not talk to that last boy that I was talking about on my YouTube. So don't think I'm out here, you know, doing dirt, doing wild stuff. We don't talk no more, but he was cute. And he drives, like, oh, you just, you just doing your big ones. <laughs> but yeah. I am so ready to eat. Like, I'm so ready to eat, I'm so tired. But y'all, speaking about relationships y'all and I mean this from the bottom of my heart don't let nobody play in your face like seriously I don't care how good looking they are I don't care how much money they got I don't care how fun they are I don't care if they have the best peanut wiener in the world, it don't matter. Just don't let nobody play in your face. Just don't let nobody play in your face. Because once somebody feel like they can play in your face, they're going to keep doing it. Like, one thing about me, like, I always look for the good in people. Like, I'm always trying to look for the good in people. I'm always trying to like hope that they aren't intentionally trying to hurt my feelings, even when they are. And even though it's probably not on purpose on purpose, the intent is still clear because it's like, you do this, you know it's gonna hurt my feelings and you do it anyway, I feel like you're intentionally trying to hurt me. And what somebody intentionally hurts your feelings, know that what they're about to do is going to hurt your feelings and they still do it, they don't like you they don't care about you they don't like you they don't love you they don't want you like you can't nobody to me in my opinion nobody who truly truly loves you wants you cares about you is ever going to put you in a position or put themselves in a position to lose you ever and exiting out the whole like love thing because people are like oh yeah he don't love me he don't love me but he want me, he want, he do not want you. He do not want you, he do not love you, he do not care about you, none of that. If he is doing something on purpose, no one is gonna hurt your feelings. Like, you can't sit here and tell, like, like, come on. If you love somebody, and I always say this, when you love somebody, you don't wanna hurt that person. So why are they doing it to you? If you love them, and you're not gonna put yourself in a situation to lose them, why are they putting themselves in a situation to lose you? because they don't care about you it's because they don't want you and once somebody hurts you and i'm not saying that leave off the first mistake no because people make mistakes we're still people we're still people but i feel like there is definitely a fine line when it comes to mistakes mistakes and just something that's not a mistake right to me it's like when you do something wrong and you intentionally did it, that's not a mistake. Like cheating to me isn't a mistake. Like when people are like, oh, that's a mistake, I cheated, it was a mistake. How do you mistakenly put your dick in somebody's pussy? You can't do that. How do you mistakenly, how do you mistakenly put your vagina on somebody else's penis? How? Because you can't. You can't answer that question. So, that's a no-no. Versus, like, you always saying, like, you know, he can pick up your socks off the floor and you just keep forgetting. Like, that's a mistake. Or, like, oh, yeah, I followed this girl. I didn't know that she didn't, like, that makes you feel insecure. But you go and follow her. It hurts your feelings, but it was a mistake because she didn't know. Like, that's, that's a mistake. Purposely doing something on purpose, knowing 
And it's gonna hurt the other person? Ain't no fucking mistake. The fuck is mistaken about? What did I mistake? Cause it's not a mistake. Like, no. Don't let nobody play in your face. Like, seriously. But back into this food. Fries, dipped in the honey mustard. These are good every time I had it, so I can actually put them up there with one of the best fries that I've had because of their seasoning. Like their seasoning is ridiculous. Like their seasoning is so freaking good. try the sandwich I've actually had their sandwiches before I don't get nothing on my sandwich it originally comes with like coleslaw and pickles but I don't want it it figure it out but I'm gonna go ahead and finish my food and I'll probably figure out if I'm gonna go grocery shopping or not while I'm eating my food because like I said I still gotta go back to school and then I gotta grocery shop and that's a lot and it's already like seven o'clock but I'm gonna talk to y'all um once I get back in the car and yeah all right y'all so I just made it back to the school um I probably not going to be going grocery shopping tonight i'm probably just going to do my grocery shopping tomorrow which is completely fine because i already ate so i'm not really tripping off of getting groceries especially because i'm about to go outside on set of promenade but currently i'm about to go inside um prep up a little bit make myself look a little bit more presentable um i feel like i look fine but i just want to make myself look a little bit better before i go out there and i'm honestly in a hurry because i do still need to go meet with vaughn so i'm gonna actually get off the camera go ahead and run upstairs and i'm gonna talk to y'all once i'm walking towards my de destination because i'm gonna walk i'm not driving because it's on a prom so it should only take me about five minutes to get there but i'm gonna talk to y'all once i'm already ready and i'm on my way there <laughs> all right guys so i can't find my tripod so i gotta hold my phone but i'm with vaughn yay because she was wait 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 you was talking shit about me putting that shit on your neck bro oh let me see the tattoo 
Let me see your button. Let me see your button. Yeah. 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 It's funny because I'm about to post this video before I post this one. So you was already introduced and I was talking about you already. Talking so. shit on the gram. Post me and didn't even post a video. She, she, she was geek to talk shit. shit. God damn. Y'all because like what the fuck was there? Like bro. Shit. The you way you put on the serene rap was insane bro. Right. Oh. Do that What's shit? your name? Y&D. Y&D. Okay. And we with. We here with. What's going on? UCV. CV. Yeah, me. Okay. We here y'all so I didn't get no fucking shout out for my shit. You so just said it's small. small. You already had a shout out. Pretty girl. Hey, hey. For the niggas that's watching this, pretty girls love swing up. You need to know how to talk to a girl. Come tapping with me. I'm tapping with my brother right here. This is Y&D. He's over here. This is Y&D. Young and Discipline on YouTube. Lock the fuck up. Y&D. Young and Discipline. Yeah, not Young and Distracted. Both of us, bro. If y'all right. wanna, watching her because y'all think she's pretty. If y'all want to bag a pretty girl like this, y'all need to listen to us. Period. If you want to bag a bad bitch, <laughs> you fucking follow him or you follow him. Hey, y'all. This is the block party. It's a lot of people. They was just running. They tried to basically stampede a motherfucker. Um, Because I think they were shooting or fighting or something. I don't know what the hell was going on. But... You know how to fight? Huh? You know how to fight? No. No. I've never been in a fight. Huh? Here, Make sure you get good. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. You know what I'm saying? Loot. I'm saying like, protect your face a little bit more. Like you got. I got a light. I got a okay. Yummy, like. Yo. Uh oh. Hold on. Hold on. My bad. I did a day right there, Yummy. That's how you do it. Don't fuck with her. Period. So. Yeah, y'all, but I don't know what's going on. I think it's all over. I think they're kicking everybody off. They're making everybody go. Do I think they're making everybody leave? Because everybody was just running. Hold on. I don't want to go. I'm a little irritated because we got to leave, but y'all, I'm going to figure out what's going on, and I'm going to get back on camera once I figure that out because I don't know what's happening. So I know what y'all thinking, right? How are my lashes then? Well, let me tell y'all. It's definitely a couple days later. Um, <laughs> I have realized while recording the outro for my next video after this, that I never recorded an outro for this video. And it was a sad realization. Not only did I realize I didn't record the outro, I realized I never really finished the vlog itself, like grocery shop, but I just never got around to it. Like I just never, ever, ever got around to it. And I think I was gonna go the next day and I just forgot, like I just totally forgot. And I started to record a whole new vlog. Like I just totally forgot. But yeah, y'all, um, everything was honestly great that day everything was good i know i went to hattie b's i know i went to um get my hair done which is the wig i still have on so it hasn't been that long it has seriously it has not been that long but in the process i did get my lashes done like a couple days later but yeah the food was good i had a great time hanging out with vaughn i really 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 appreciated seeing somebody from the dmv in atlanta like i swear to god like but somebody's just like when you're not around your own people and where you're from for a long time you just kind of start to miss it so that's really all i was trying to say like i don't know what i was trying to say but that's really what i was trying to say but yeah y'all so i'm gonna actually go ahead and close out this video so i can get on to recording the next one because i am filming today and y'all are gonna see this video probably after this one and then after the next one so y'all gonna see this video in about a week and y'all are gonna love it but yeah, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and finish out, and I'm going to see y'all in the next one. So bye.